Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a minute since I last uploaded. Um, but before I get this video started, I want to take the time out to just send my condolences to the um to Kobe O'Brien's family and all that stuff. So my condolences go out to you guys. Um, so yeah. Now that I got that out the way, I want to go ahead and tell you guys about where I've been, why I haven't been uploading, what's my excuse, which is really not an excuse, but why I haven't been so consistent with you guys lately. Um, like I promised, I told you guys I would. Um, but before we get that part started, I want you guys to go ahead and hit everybody you know that will help your girl out. Um, I just get out the shower um and i wanted to go ahead and do this video before i call it a night even though it's still like 7 35 at night i don't want to lay down and y'all never get this video um so this past week i was supposed to upload Ooh, probably three videos for you guys and it's been almost a week and a half since I last uploaded a video for you guys which I greatly apologize for but I had to take care of myself first like I did like I said in my milestones I am going to start taking care of myself first so um, I guess my body had to prove a point to see if I really was going to take care of myself first. And I got sick. Um, it's a great year. It's a great way to start the year off, right? Um, to prove my point to yourself. So that's what I did. It's a good thing I was off this week. Because if I wasn't, I was going to have to take off. Because I was sick, sick. Um, it all started Saturday night. Um, last Saturday night, um, when my throat was hurting. It wasn't hurting, but it was burning. So, um, I'm thinking in my head, it's nothing. Um, so I went, I went to bed without taking anything, which was my first mistake. Um, uh, and... Throughout this whole story, you guys are going to get a lot of see a lot of mistakes I could have changed, but I was just stubborn and thought that I could take care of myself and don't ask for help. <clears throat> so, um, I didn't go to the doctor Saturday because I'm like, why? Because it wasn't that bad. Um. So, while I talk about this, I'm going to uh, do my witch hazel and put on my lotion and stuff. But anyways, um, throughout this whole process, I was, I was, uh, not even thinking that I should go to the hospital. Um... And I know most of you guys probably watching this and asking me why I didn't go. Because I didn't need to go at that point. So, Sunday came. I went to church Sunday. Like I always do every Sunday. Well, not every Sunday. I started back going to church. But, um, I started back going to church. So, Sunday came. I went to church. I got out of church. I was feeling horrible. Um, I didn't eat Sunday. That's my second mistake. Um, I just started piling on the medicine, which was my third mistake. Okay. Um, and my throat at this point is like on fire. Um, so then. I, um, I started piling on the ice. I was eating ice nonstop, um, thinking it was going to calm my throat down. I was drinking cold water 
non-stop and that was sort of kind of my mistake too um so um late late sunday night my throat was still on fire um that's when i woke up in the middle of the night i was on the edge of crying okay um so i got up put on clothes and i went to walmart good thing walmart doesn't close late i mean it doesn't close early or i would have been up shitty creek okay um so i went to walmart got every medicine they had okay everything that says sore throat everything that says congestion everything that says fever everything that has to do with everything i got just to give y'all a glimpse of what i got um i spent way over 80 dollars on medicine um, so then Monday morning came, I was feeling terrible. Um, and I'm like, something's not right. I was in so much pain. And it's not one of those pains to where, mm, I get over it. It's one of those pain is if I'm about to die. Okay. So I went to the ER where I work, I went to that ER because I know it runs faster than the ER that's closer to my house does. So that's the reason why I drove that uh, that distance. Um, so when I got there, my fever was had spiked to 104. When I checked it at my house, it was like 99. But by the time I made it to the hospital, it was at every bit of 104. Um, so the woman was telling me if I had to wait any longer, it was going to throw me into a coma and all this stuff, which, uh, you guys, I'm not sure if it was that hard to put me in a coma, but let me tell you this, I would have fainted if I didn't go to the hospital in time, or something else would seriously be wrong if I didn't go. Um, now me throwing, getting put in a coma probably wasn't going to happen. But it was 104 by the time I made it to the hospital. Um, so they did everything to me. And I remember telling her that um, I'm not staying here. I'm going home. So you do whatever you have to do to get my temperature down. Um, so they did everything. I was at the hospital for a damn, for dang near five hours. Um... So, they gave me everything under the sun. They put me under ice. They did everything to get my temperature back to normalcy. Um, so, after that happened, um, she told me I had to touch of the flu. And, um, yeah, to be honest, I didn't have strep throat or anything like that. So, I'm not sure if that's just how it starts out or what, but... Um, she did, she never said I had strep throat or anything like that. Um, but she did say, um, that I was, that my muscles was, uh, was like they're breathing for air. Whatever that mean, I don't know. Um, but at this time, I only took what partially what she said with a, with a drink, with a grain of salt. Um, because I knew it, it, it couldn't have been to the point to where I was finna go into a coma. That just wasn't gonna happen. So, um, Monday came, like I said, I went to the hospital. Um, after the hospital, which was Monday, um, Tuesday came and they gave me a long list of medicines that I had to pick up at CVS. Um... I pick up half of these medicines from CVS because the mo majority of those medicines was steroids. And you guys know I'm not a big steroid fan um, because you can sometimes get uh, addicted to steroids. And when I was playing volleyball and all that stuff, I was put on steroids for athletic reasons. And um, it was hard for me to... Um, 
it was hard for me to um, play sports and be on steroids. So I decided just to get off steroids and just play sports, and a lot happened. So that's the reason why I stay far away from steroids and all of that stuff. And I think one day I'm going to tell you guys that story. But anywho, um, it's a Tuesday. I go pick up all my medicine. And yeah, Wednesday came and my throat was in so much pain. At this point, I mean, my throat is in so much pain to the fact that I'm popping I'm popping um uh cough drops like they are candy. Um cough drops was not getting the job done. It did cool it off a little bit, but it wasn't helping me to the point to where I could sleep good. That and then late at night I was felt like I was overdosing on medicine. So then um we no, Thursday came, I went right back to the to my doctor. Um, he told me that my bronchitis was acting up because you guys know I am when I was younger I was diagnosed with uh bronchitis. Um a couple of years back I was also diagnosed with acute bronchitis because you know they say bronchitis will grow, you'll grow out of it, which is a lie. You'll never grow out of bronchitis. I feel like you won't. Um, so, or maybe just in my case, I probably won't. Um, so I am diagnosed with acute bronchitis. So when I get sick or anything, I'm sick, sick, okay? So then after all of this, come to find out that I do have, uh, the touch of the flu. Um, if I had waited a couple of more hours before I go to the hospital, it could have been the flu. Um, or I could have had a uh, walking pneumonia, which walking pneumonia is so harsh to people that you could either die from it or it takes you a long time to heal from it. So then I went to my doctor. He gave me more medicine. He told me to top, stop taking some medicines, start taking this medicine. And then um, things will start clearing up for me, which he was right. Um, but then, come Thursday night, I couldn't talk. Um, Thursday night came, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to be good to go. I was going to come home, do some videos for you guys. Thursday night came, no voice. Um, and I just started getting my voice back. Probably Friday, late Friday night, early Friday morning. I, I mean, uh, Saturday morning. I started getting my voice back. I started doing a recording for you guys. And my voice went back out. And I'm like, I'm not putting out that video to where y'all can catch my code through the screen. I refuse to put out a video like that. So, I deleted that video. So, um... This is probably my fourth video or fourth time recording this video that you guys can actually hear me. Um, You probably can't hear me as good as you would if I had my full voice, but this is what you get. Okay? I feel like this is the best it's going to get. Um, So Thursday, I was took off a lot of medicine. I was put on a lot of medicine and all of that stuff. Friday came. This is when I had family members coming in. Um, this is when I had funerals to go to and all of that stuff. Um, I couldn't talk at all Friday. Um, no, sir, no. Friday morning, I couldn't talk at all. So, yeah. Um, but overall, I felt like that was the way my body was proving itself to where it wants to know if if I was going to actually take care of myself or was I going to let, or was I going to start taking care of everybody else first. Um, 
So then I was taking medicine, taking medicine, and I was feeling drowsy. I couldn't stay woke half of the time. I couldn't drive when I was sick, none. So it was a lot of driving me a daisy. Um, so yeah. Now, today is Sunday. You guys will probably receive this late tonight or early Monday morning. I'm not sure if I'm going to work Monday night, which I hope I am. But I have to go to the hospital tomorrow morning just to make sure I can be released to work. Um, but if they don't release me for sure, I'll go back Tuesday morning and work. Um, well, Tuesday night and work. But, um, I still feel horrible. Not horrible to the point to where I'm sick and out of it. I just feel like my body is still trying to fight off whatever it is. It's trying to hold me down. Um, I still, at this point, I feel like my body is trying to get rid of all of that medicine. Um, let's just say I won't be taking medicine for a while. Okay? Um, I am just going to get this medicine out of my system. So, I'm going to drink plenty of water. And I'm going to do this three-day toxic cleanse. And hopefully, it works. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know where I was at, um, and where I've been and why I haven't been uploading like I promised you guys. I just want you guys to know I'm back full in effect. Um, I can go ahead and get these videos up for you guys. Um, and as you guys can see, my skin is horribly breaking out again. And that's all because of all that medicine I took. And all that medicine I took could not be helpful for anyone because I took so much medicine. Um, but it took me a week to get over everything that I had. Um, it's not fully gone because I still wake up and feel like I'm drowning in my mucus. I still wake up coughing real bad. So I know that's part of my bronchitis. I'm not really worried about that. Because I've been doing that for the longest. I just haven't been. Um, I've been tired a lot lately. I'm not sure what that come from. Because I've never been this tired. Um, so yeah. I'm trying not to lay around like I used to when I was sick. I'm trying to get up and, you know, keep it moving. Because I'm not sick anymore, so why should I lay down? Um, If you guys pay close attention to my bottom lip, it was super, super swollen. Because my dad had bought me some drops. Some uh, lavender and honey cough drops, right? And they had melatonin in it just to help me sleep at night. Which they didn't. Um, I slept for like two hours on them. And you guys know I'm addicted to lavender. So it kind of swollen up my bottom lip. Um, and you guys see a whole bunch of bumps and stuff on me. That is because of all that medicine. Um, my body is sending it through my pores for some reason. Which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. If you're in nursing school and you know a little bit about that, let me know in the comment section below. Because I'm not sure. But um, I just needed to come here and tell you guys what was going on with me. To let you guys know I'm just not ditching y'all just because I don't want to talk to y'all. I'm ditching y'all because I feel horrible. Okay? So, yeah. Um, I couldn't really do nothing this week like I had planned. Um, my best friend came into town. It could not have been at the worst time, but we still making the best of it. Um, she's going to be here for a couple of more months, I think until April. Um, she's going back in April and I probably will be gone back in March, I'm not sure. But, um, I know me and my parents, when my parents will be moving in on March, 
and I will be moving hopefully in March too but I will be out of Mississippi so if you stay anywhere in Texas and you're willing to link up let me know in the comment section below um, to link up just to do more videos let me know in the comment section um, I'm going to try to link up with people probably it's going to probably be April or May April and May so those videos be me just collabing with people from Texas and all of that stuff. Um, this is a 20 minute video of me talking about nothing but where I been. So, um, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be coming back with major videos for you guys. I've, I know I missed a week. So, I owe you guys at least six videos. I know. I owe you guys this week and next week videos. I know. Um, at least six. And you guys will get those six videos. Um, so, yeah. I think I'm going to end this video. And go ahead and upload this video. If you guys got any feedback or any other things you guys want me to know, any videos you guys want me to record, just put it in the comment section below. If you guys got any stories you guys want to hear, let me know in the comment section below. Um, Yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have a blessed, blessed week. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I hope most of you guys stayed out of trouble and came back to me safely and sound. Um, so yeah, let me know how you guys weekend went, what you guys did for the weekend, all of that stuff. Um, my dad's birthday was Tuesday, and I missed it because I was sick, and I hate that, okay? I hate it with a passion, but he understood, so that's all that matters. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so, Yeah. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm going to probably go ahead and put this video out tonight. And then I'm going to go ahead and put out another video probably tomorrow. Uh, if not tomorrow, it'll be Tuesday. But, um, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Always remember, stay blessed. Be blessed. Go out and bless someone else. And if you can't be a blessing, just be encouraging words for somebody who's who greatly needs them, okay? And I'll see you guys in my next video.